our channel. In this session, we will discuss recursive descent parsing. Generally, the parsers are divided into two types. One is top-down parser, second one is bottom-up parser. Under top-down parser, we have two things. The parsers with backtracking and the parsers without backtracking. With backtracking is implemented by using brute force approach. Coming to without backtracking, again without backtracking is categorized into two types. One is the recursive descent parser and another one is predictive parser. So the recursive descent parser is a top-down parser. Simply a top-down parser without backtracking. Without backtracking. Okay. So here our aim is we have to construct the recursive descent parser for the given grammar. The procedure is very simple. We will construct the grammar that means we will construct or we will build a parser tree starts from the starting symbol of the production. Always we are begin our procedure from the starting symbol of the production and the steps are if we have a non-terminal, each non-terminal, each non-terminal is a procedure. Here RDP, recursive descent parser is implemented in terms of procedures. Each non-terminal in the grammar acts as a procedure. That is the first one. Suppose if it is a terminal, if it is a terminal, then what to do? You have to compare the terminal in the production with the input string. Actually, what is our aim? Our aim is from the given grammar, you have to generate some input string. If the terminal is matches with the input symbol, then what to do? Okay, they are matched and then increment and then increment the input pointer. That means whenever there is a matching, then you have to perform comparison with the next two character in the input symbol. Okay. Now the most important rule is actually a non-terminal can contains more than one production. For example, A tends to AB slash BS slash CA. That means here the non-terminal A contains three productions. Remember the thing, a non-terminal contains any number of productions. All the productions are written in a single procedure. All the productions for a non-terminals are written in a single production. What is mean by this one? How many number of procedures we have? The number of non-terminals. How many number of non-terminals we have? That many number of procedures are used in the recursive descent parser. Here this is simply a parsing, in this no need to declare the main method, no need to declare any variables. Okay, now whatever the steps we are discussing, we will construct the recursive descent parsing for this example. So compared to all the parsings, this recursive descent parsing is the very very easiest one. What is the procedure? So this is my grammar, first two. The procedure starts from the start symbol. You have to write like this. Procedure E of. The non-terminal is the procedure. Procedure E of in this. If it is a non-terminal, again call the procedure. That is the reason recursive. What is mean by recursive? A function calls itself or within a function we are calling one more function. That function in turn calls this function either direct recursion or indirect recursion. Suppose see this one procedure E of in this. What is the first one? If it is a non terminal, non terminal again call the function. If it is a non terminal, call the function E dash. Generally, dashes are represented as prime. So here you can write E dash. That is not a problem. That is not a problem. But in the programming, it is not possible to represent the dash. That is the reason dashes are represented like this E prime of. Now close the function. That is close the procedure. 
we have two non terminals so i am calling two non terminals this is the first one now move to second one here i am writing procedure e dash that means e prime of e prime of now observe what is the first one first one is a terminal if it is a terminal you have to perform comparison operation that means if input symbol that is whatever the input we are providing is equal to equal to what is the my terminal plus if input symbol is equal to plus then then you have to increment the input pointer so input plus plus or instead of this one simply you can write this one also advance of both are same you can write anything whenever the input symbol matches with the terminal for each and every terminal we are writing the statement like this then simply increment the input pointer or simply you can write advance that is okay after that a non terminal if it is a non terminal call like this t of next to e prime of next to e prime of this entire thing comes under if else else in the sense that is stop the process so else return empty return is performed else in the sense an empty return is performed this is the procedure for e dash now write down the procedure for third one procedure t of procedure t of in this first we have to call f so simply f of and then call t dash t dash is called like this t prime of now procedure e is completed sorry procedure t is completed now t dash procedure t prime of t dash is represented as t prime first star whenever a terminal simply the statement is like this if input terminal that is input symbol is equal to equal to what is my terminal here star if it is equal to star then advance of or instead of this you can write input plus plus whatever it is it is completely your wish followed by the function f of followed by the function t prime of this entire thing is under if case that means t dash has two productions one production starts with star another production starts with epsilon so if condition if it starts with star then we have to perform this operation suppose if it does not match does not match in the sense else return that means a null string else return the same simply a null now now procedure f of procedure f of under f first one is the left to parenthesis you have to write like this if input is equal to equal to left to parenthesis then advance of then advance of second right e of third again third again right parenthesis again you have to check if that is else if not if if input is equal to equal to right parenthesis after e of not else if it is equal to equal to right parenthesis then simply advance of okay this entire thing comes under if case that means if the string starts with left to parenthesis we are implementing this one input is equal to left to parenthesis e of input is equal to right parenthesis whenever terminal occurs simply write the if condition and then increment the input pointer and id simply yes if input is equal to equal to id simply advance of the same logic simply advance of in the previous one we have epsilon that is the reason we are returning an empty that is empty return statement here we have two cases whether the input starts with that is the production starts with either left to parenthesis that is the first if case or starts with id that is the else if case this is the way to construct recursive descent parser now simply consider one example how it is processed id plus id dollar what do you mean by dollar always a string ends with dollar 
the procedure is very simple first the production starts from e the start symbol in this call the function t right whenever you call the function t control goes to this t right in this t we are calling the function f now we are moving into this f under f first to check is input is equal to left parenthesis no actually this is my input pointer if condition is fail now we are checking else input is equal to equal to id there is a match whenever there is a match we are incrementing the input pointer now input pointer moves to this one this f is completed you know the logic whenever you call a function after completion of the function again we move back to the next statement of the calling function so after completion of this f we are moving into this one this is completed we are moving into this one so go to t prime in t prime if input is equal to star no so else return we are moving and t return now this t is completed that means we are coming to this statement here we have more statement this is completed and t is called by this e now coming to the next statement e prime this is the e prime if input is equal to plus yes if there is a match increment the input pointer now call the function t of go to t of call the function f of go to f of and then equal to input is equal to id and then advance so advance whenever the dollar reach simply we stop the procedure this is the way to construct recursive descent parser